Assassin's Creed has long been a hugely successful game series, but Ubisoft have now taken a leap of faith and turned the historical sci-fi into a massive movie. Directed by the award-winning Justin Kurtzel, it's full of moments that will transport you back to some of the series' best sequences. Want to recreate those moments yourself? We've picked the top five from the film that you can play out in the games. Don't worry, none of them are singing Crazy He Calls Me while stuck in the Animus. I want to play Fallout 3 for that one. So pull up your hood and sharpen those blades, it's time to get murdery. Oh, and remember the creed, no dislike is true, every subscribe is permitted. So why not like and subscribe right now? That's a lot. With the prospect of falling to his doom from a very tall rooftop, Aguilar prevents a bone-crushing early finale by using a wrist-mounted grappling hook to break his fall. As anyone who's learned in the creed will know, this is an oddly early sighting for the gadget. Almost 400 years too early, in fact. To perform a similar stunt in the games, you'll need to travel to 1868, as seen in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Here, Jacob and Evie Fry are provided with a grappling hook developed by noted telephone inventor Alexander Graham Bell. With this bolted to your arm, you can swing your way across Victorian London like some kind of Industrial Revolution Spider-Man, or indeed, a more joyful version of the movie's Aguilar. Around an hour into the movie, things get very, very Assassin's Creed. There's a fight on a rooftop with awesome backflips and jumps, ending with Aguilar and Maria parkour running away from the Templars. It's a chase over the streets of the Spanish region of Andalusia, with the assassins stepping on mere wires to make their escape. While Andalusia isn't in the Assassin's Creed games, you can go some way to reproducing this chase in the very first game. Jerusalem provides the right feel with its earthy colours and narrow streets, and the beams that extend above so many walkways allow you to recreate those pulse-pounding moments. Thanks to something called the bleeding effect, by the time the Assassin's Creed movie ends, Callum has learned all the kick-ass combat moves of his ancestor Aguilar. Along with his assassin comrades, he proceeds to use these skills to slaughter Abstergo employees and break out of the Templar complex. If you fancy stabbing modern-day Templars in the face yourself, all you need to do is play Assassin's Creed 3. The third mission, set in 2012, sees Desmond break into Abstergo and put his own assassin skills to very, very good use. Although, you'd think the guards would take better precautions when it's common knowledge that their enemies are blade-wielding, free-running superhumans, wouldn't you? By far and away the most iconic moment in the Assassin's Creed series, the leap of faith is a heart-stopping jump from an absurd height, normally into a back injury preventing hay bale. Naturally, it was going to be the centerpiece of any Assassin's Creed movie, which is why we get not one, but two death-defying leaps. Stunt actor Damien Walters even broke a record free-falling 125 feet for the scene. If two of these jumps aren't enough for you, the games allow you to perform them literally limitless times. Just climb to the top of any suspiciously tall building, spy the soft landing, and hurl yourself off to the tune of an eagle screeching. These are digital thrills that certainly don't require personal injury insurance. Jump! Towards the end of Callum's journey through Aguilar's past, he finds himself in a fight with the Templars and their Spanish Inquisition leader, Tomar de Torquemada. An attempt to steal the Apple of Eden sees Aguilar out for the count, but not before he's had Torquemada at knife point. You can reenact a similar encounter in Assassin's Creed 2, but the stakes are far higher. Rather than simply a man who looks like the Pope, the second game allows you to batter the actual Pope. The finale sees you choke the life out of Templar leader Rodrigo Borgia, but only after you've beaten him around the ears a few times. It's all he deserves for trying to defy the free will of the people, of course. And those are the top five Assassin's Creed movie moments that you can recreate yourself in the games. No doubt you'll be ready to get your parkour on, so we'll let you get on with it. Just remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell before you leap off this video.